part of the uh, the issues we had when we were working with this was trying to decide what gestures actually should do what. Because um, after fooling around with it, we found out a lot of things that you know Hassan might have found normal for him were not uh, what I thought should be done. So we had to come up with ideas that were a little bit outside of the box to let the program know and uh, be able to let us know uh, that we're actually trying to control the program rather than just kind of standing around and doing anything. <coughs> I'm <a little> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you. He's so through hand, I guess. So what Manny's doing right now, actually, wh how this works is uh, we use pose uh, tracking. And, uh, and what happens is when he makes his pose, as you can see, it's calibrating to try to find his Manny, I guess you have to kiss me. Okay. Ah, there we go. So as you can see, there's two balls. So if the purple one or the pink one goes down, so he can control towards his out of the body or left or right to move with air kind of thing. Yeah. So the, the teal ball is what controls the navigation up and down. And the idea we came up with here was because we had about six things we wanted to do, right? We had to determine what action did what. What we decided to do was separate them into hands. Um, so this hand was doing the, the tilting of the earth. So tilt up, rotate left, rotate right. Um, as you can see. <coughs> <coughs> or zoom in function <coughs> with just swing your hand inside or outside to actually zoom in the earth. The main problem here was that we don't conflict uh, gestures to each other. So when you're doing this, it doesn't conflict it with one hand up and one hand going the other direction. Sounds a good exercise. <laughs> <laughs> okay.